Hi, this is Paul with Dio Dynamics, and uh, we get a lot of questions when it comes to our LED bulbs. You know, here's two different ones, a Dio Dynamics XP80 bulb and a competitor's 80 watt bulb. They're both, both very similar, and we get questions, you know, what makes them different? Well, they look about the same when they're off, but that's where the similarities ends. What's really important is how they work when we turn them on. So let's take a look at a, you know, very, very common example of a poorly designed bulb. And this is actually from a US-based competitor. It's not off eBay or anything. You know, this is a uh, relatively um, you know, well-priced item. Now, for our power supply here, we have a 13.2 volt output, which is about the same as your vehicle's battery. We're going to see what the current is when we hook up these bulbs. LEDs are dependent on the current flowing through them, which determines the total output of the LED. So the higher the current, the more brightness. The problem is, the higher the current, the more heat is generated as well. The bulb has to be designed in order to dissipate that heat efficiently while still maintaining high levels of power in order to maintain high levels of brightness. All LEDs are going to decrease in brightness a little bit as they heat up, but we want to minimize that as much as we can. So first, let's take a look at what the competitor's bulb does. We'll hook up this bulb by itself. And we can see it starts at 0.72 amps, 0.71 amps. And we're already getting it to drop a little bit here. As it heats up, it'll start dropping. Most bulbs take about 10 to 15 minutes to fully warm up, but you can see, look how quickly this bulb is decreasing. We started at 0.7 and we're already down, you know, down to 0.35. We're already at half the total power from when it started. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's actually noticeable just by looking at the bulb. This bulb is getting a lot dimmer. We're all the way down to 0 0.29, 0 0.28, and I think this, this thing is going to get all the way down to just 0 0.25, you know, a quarter of an amp. That's about a third of the total power it started with. That means that the total brightness is also going to be about a third from what you started with. Most suppliers rate their bulbs based on the starting brightness, which, as you can see, is very misleading. At Diodynamics, we measure our total output of the bulbs after they're fully warmed up to get a more realistic type of rating. Let's take a look at how the Diodynamics bulb does. Okay, we're going to hook just our Diodynamics bulb up, and you can see it's going to start about the same. So again, they're designed very, very similarly. However, the electronics in the Diodynamics bulb are going to efficiently dissipate the heat while maintaining the brightness and the total current. So we are going to see a decrease, you know, just a little bit. Like I said, all LED bulbs are going to decrease in current and brightness as they warm up. That's just part of getting hot with LEDs. However, you can see here that when it's all said and done, we're going to be hanging out at about 550, 560 milliamps, or about 0.56 amps, instead of dropping you know, to a third of the original power. That means that our bulb is going to maintain the brightness even after it heats up and while you're using it much more efficiently than the competitor's poorly designed bulb. This is just one of the many electrical differences when you purchase Diodynamics products versus the com competition. Don't pay attention too much to what the bulb looks like when it's off. It's more about what it looks like when it's on. You can read more about this at our research page at diodynamics.com. Thanks for watching.